Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video I thought I'd show you guys some more autumn winter outfits, some outfits I've been wearing recently and just give you guys some tips on staying warm in these colder months because the temperature has definitely dropped now. So yeah, I just thought I'd share a few of my favourite ones this week with lots of layering, some cosy coats and accessories. So yeah, I'm excited for this one and it is a busy week this week with Black Friday just around the corner. And as always, I don't want to bombard you guys with loads of discounts and everything. So I'm focusing in on one brand this year, which I worked with last year, and that is Majiri. So this is Majiri's only sale of the year and their membership sale is now live. So this is your last chance to sign up for that and shop early access by becoming a Majiri member. It's free to join and with sale access on those days, you'll get 20% off your order with a minimum spend. I'll pop all details of that in the description box as well. So now is the time to bookmark those favourites. Mark these dates in your diary ready for the sale. So I've picked out six gorgeous pieces that I want to share with you that I've had my eye on for a while now and I know you're going to love them. These pieces here are going to be great to style for the everyday and the festive season and beyond and they're a great option if you're looking to treat a loved one or you're looking to treat yourself as well. So I'm going to start with the first piece and as you guys know I love a hoop but this one is a hoop with a twist. So these are the Pyra hoops and obviously inspired by the pyramids. They're in this gorgeous triangular shape and these ones are made from gold vermeil and Majeri's vermeil is a thick layer of 18 karat solid gold on sterling silver meaning that it'll last longer so that you get the look and feel of gold jewelry at a fraction of the price i absolutely love the shape of these and i don't have anything like this in my jewelry collection and i've been finding myself reaching for them recently because they just offer a point of difference they're really nice and chunky and they're super versatile you can wear them in the day you can take them into the evening as well if you pop your hair back in a bun these will just really pop as well with those evening looks so those are a new earring addition to my jewelry wall Wardrobe. Now I'm going to go on to the rings and I'm going to start with this dome ring and this one is a smoother version of my croissant ring really and it comes in a simple minimal design but it's also great for stacking as well. So as you can see I've stacked it with the Pyra ring here and this is just a great one for the everyday and this too is made in gold vermeil so it's a great alternative to solid gold. You're still going to get that look and feel of gold at a fraction of the price. Now on to the next ring and this is the Boa Gemstone Coil Ring. As soon as I saw this ring, I thought I have to have that. I've got nothing like it and this is something I'd definitely reach for when styling jewellery for the evening as well. It's such a beautiful statement piece and the white topaz gemstone adds a touch of glamour too. So Majuri use an array of high quality natural gemstones that are highly valued for their beauty, longevity and rarity. So you're getting a beautiful ring in great quality and I'm going to be styling this a lot over the next few months. And finally on the rings, I selected the pyra ring and this particular one is 14 karat yellow gold so this piece is really made to last as 14 karat gold will not oxidize or discolor so you can wear this every day and it's going to last you forever they also have a chunkier option made from gold vermeil if you're after something more in that price range so i'll link that below too now i'm going to go on to the necklaces and i've got two necklaces to share with you today and this first necklace would make the perfect gift it's so delicate and dainty and is a piece that'll last you forever so this initial necklace is made from 14 karat gold and can be adjusted from 14 inches to 16 inches making it the perfect base for stacking your necklaces. I love layering my necklaces up so this one I would definitely put on first and then layer the more thicker chain ones on top. So I've just layered this beautiful Figaro chain necklace on top and this too is made from 14 karat gold and it comes in three different lengths. So I went with the 16 inches and I love to mix up the textures when layering my necklaces. So this is a perfect addition to your collection. It also has a vintage feel as well, which I really love. So what I'll do, I'll link everything I've selected below and I'll put it into price points as well. 
My jewellery also have this feature on their website. So if you're looking for something on a particular budget, you can change the price point and then it'll list everything within that range. So it makes it really easy to shop with whatever budget you have. So there we go, lots of lovely newness from my jewellery and you'll see me selling these pieces throughout today's video as well. And just a reminder on the sale dates. So the membership sale is now live and the public sale goes live on the 20th of November and runs through to the 27th. So make sure to get your favourite pieces before they sell out. So that's jewellery done. I'm now going to go on to styling and I'm going to show you the full outfit on here, do a little voiceover so you guys can really take the outfit in. And yeah, just show you guys what I'm going to be styling throughout autumn winter and I'll be featuring all the jewellery in there as well. So the first look for today is this one that I'm wearing and this is a look that I've been reaching for on those days where I want comfort, the layers but also want to look smart as well. So I've paired my leggings with my knee-high boots, layered my sweater vest under my shirt and layered my tart wool coat over the top. I love this coat for that oversized look. I actually wore a very similar look last weekend with leather shorts and tights. So that's another way for you to style the sweater vest and shirt look. A trick I always do when styling my belted coats is to knot them at the belt loops. This stops the belt from falling out and dragging on the floor, which has happened to me many times. I also feel like it makes the look a little bit more chic by adding in these finishing touches. So this is a great one for the days where you want to opt for some lighter layering if you've got a shopping day in the city and then lunch afterwards and you don't want to feel too hot. I'd definitely style this on the weekend too when running errands. So I finished the look with my black crossbody bag and there you go, you've got a comfortable chic look ready for the day ahead. Now on to look number two and if you're not wanting to get your big wool coat out just yet starting with a base layer and adding warm layers is key. So I've popped on my heat tech top from Uniqlo underneath my grey knit. I wore these most days last winter for extra warmth. Then I've gone for a head to toe wool look by layering my grey knit on top and paired them with my cream wool trousers. For an extra layer I've then gone for my brown wool jacket and finished it off with a cream scarf to tie all the tones into. Together. I really love the warm tones within this look. The cream and the brown really lift the grey and the black accessories act as a really nice bold contrast. This is a great smart casual option for those drier colder days where you want to feel a little bit smarter and avoid wearing the big coat. On to look number three and this is a look I wore last week actually. This one is all about having fun with those autumn winter textures. So I've gone for my faux leather trousers and oversized neutral knit. Bruno's come to say hi. <laughs> I think he thinks we're going out. I always reach for my leather trousers around this time of year and the oversized knits add a cosy feel to the look. I've kept this look casual with my chunky boots and some wool socks for extra warmth. I've then got my cream gilet back out. This gilet comes out every year for me and it's a great piece to reach for when you're wanting to add texture and warmth to your look without reaching for a coat. This one is old now but I will link some similar on here for you guys. I've then finished the look with my cos crossbody bag for a contrast and added in my cream scarf to match the gilet. I really love this cosy casual look and it kept me lovely and warm when wandering around the city. On to look number four and this is the outfit I wore yesterday actually. The jeans, blazer, roll neck and loafers is a go-to look for me for this time of year and as I've said in my previous video I'm really enjoying adding a pop of red into my outfits lately. If you want to introduce the pop of red without buying more clothes then styling it through your accessories such as socks is a great way to try it out. I also love styling grey with red so I've gone for my oversized wool blazer from Dish. I've then gone for my plain crossbody bag to tie in the black and I've decided to add another pop of red with this scarf. I feel this really finishes off the look and just makes the outfit pop that little bit more. It's a real fun one to wear. On to look number five and this look is all about soft tailoring so I've started off with my white shirt and cream tailored wide legs but I've paired it with my sambas to still keep the look casual too. For the coat I've gone with my tailored wool blend one. I really love this coat for the days where I want to style something a little bit smarter and not as heavy as my wool ones. As a contrast to the light neutral tones I've popped my burgundy knit over my shoulders for a smart layering piece and then finished it off with my new addition, this gorgeous Palem bag. So this is the Numero Dice and it comes in a stunning burgundy brown. 
It's called sandalwood on their website if you're after it and I love the half moon shape of it. It's such a beautiful bag and you guys know I love Polen as a brand. The bags really are the best quality. If it gets colder whilst you're out, you can then put on the jumper and you've got a beautiful, smart, tailored look. Again, this one is great for the drier, colder days if you're heading shopping or out to lunch. On to look number six and I wanted to show you how I've been styling my satin skirt recently. For this time of year, I love to style it with oversized knitwear for a casual feel and I especially love styling this striped one from Arquette. I've then layered my my burgundy Palem bag over the top for a contrast and to add an extra layer I've popped my gilet over the top. I feel this look is a great one to take you from day to evening as well if you want something cosy but smart. I definitely style this on the weekend if we're heading out and then add dinner later on. It feels really cosy but still has that smart dressy feel to it and the different textures here with the boucle, satin and leathers really adds depth to the look. On to look number seven and I'm styling the brown wide leg trousers again. I found myself reaching for these so much more than my black ones recently and they just add a softer tone to the neutral looks that I've been wearing. I've styled them with my brown loafers to elongate the legs. This trick is especially great for us petite girls out there. I've then gone with my chunkier cashmere knit. For a contrast, I've then layered my camel scarf over the top. I love how the rib texture of this matches the hem and cuffs on the knit as well. To tie in the brown, I've gone with my woven brown bag. Again, I really love all the textures that are going on here. To keep it tonal up top, I've then gone for my dish off-white coat and layered the scarf and bag over the top for a contrast. I really love this look. It's the ultimate cosy comfort one for me while still feeling really smart with the wool wide legs and tonal loafers. And for the final look, I've gone for the reverse of the previous one really, and I'm styling my cream wide legs again. I've then paired them with this beautiful cashmere brown jumper. This is honestly the most gorgeous jumper that I own. It is on the pricier side, so I will link alternatives too, but it could be one to save for the Black Friday sales if you're after a cashmere knit. That's going to last you a very long time. I've then tied in the brown by styling my brown belt and loafers and finished off the look by layering my top wool coat over the top and my off-white Palen bag to tie in with the trousers. Again, this is another look I've been wearing recently and if you want something a little bit more casual than the loafers, you can always swap those out for trainers. So there we go. There's eight smart casual looks for you to try over the next few weeks or months. I'm sure you'll have some pieces that are very similar that you could use, but as always, I'll link everything below with alternatives too. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon for a new video.